all, welcome to another quick learning. Today I'm going to go over some examples in CodeSignal. So if you don't have a CodeSignal account, you can go to CodeSignal.com and sign up. Uh, the sign up is pretty easy. And once you do, it has a lot of examples and things uh, to test your programming. And it's just a good way to learn and practice what you already know. So I'm going to go to the arcade section and work on some SQL problems. Um, so it's under the databases. And we're going to do uh, this first example here in this video, the project list. So how it works is you'll have uh, over here, um, it'll tell you the difficulty. It'll say uh, how many uh, points it's worth. And then it'll give you some information on what the task they want you to do in the coding here is. And it'll give you uh, details about the table. So here you've got the, the internal ID, the project name, team size, team lead, and income. Usually there's some flavor text above that you, you really don't have to read if you don't want to. And then usually the last couple paragraphs it'll tell you what exactly they want you to do. So in this one your boss says that internal project IDs are irrelevant, uh, sorry, irrelevant to him and that he isn't interested in how big teams are. Since that's the case, he wants to create another table by removing the internal ID and team size columns from the existing projects table, return it sorted by internal ID in ascending order. And then at the bottom they have, here's the table or tables that you are given, um, and then they give you what the result should be when the code is run. And there's also an execution limit, so if your code is not very efficient, it will also fail. So here what I need to do is uh, remove the internal ID and team size. So here I'm just going to select all the columns except for internal ID and team size. So I got project name, team lead, and income. Uh, from, uh, this is the projects table. So it's from projects. And here it says return it sorted by internal ID in ascending order. So order by internal ID. And since it's ascending order, uh, that's the default, so you don't need to put anything after that. You could also put, uh, well, in this case, since it's not one of the selects, you can't use a number. But if, let's say it was project name, you could just put a 1 instead of the column name. Um, some other things uh, to know about code signal is I like it because they also have, when you run the test, it'll show you your test results. So to say, here's the input, uh, here's the output, and what's the expected output. So you can see where your uh, output is different from the expected output, and you can change your query uh, as a result. Sometimes there's some hidden tests that may fail um, that you're not going to get uh, to view. Also on the left side here, you'll see any drafts that you have. Um, you can see solutions if you've solved it already. So once you solve it, this is available, and you can see how other people solve the same problem. Uh, you can also see any comments that people had. So if you're having trouble with this one, uh, you can add a comment and someone may give you a hint, or you can see what other people are having trouble with, and maybe they'll, they already have given hints about that. And then sometimes uh, there's a README, I guess. I've never actually looked at the README, but there it is. And you can go back to the description. And then once you've usually passed all the tests, you can hit the Submit button. And if it runs correctly on all the tests that are included in addition to this, plus meets the execution time limit, then it will pass and it will give you your experience points and coins. All right, so I hope you guys were able to follow this and able to see uh, why the SQL works for this problem and just get a short introduction to CodeSignal. All right, thank you very much. Bye.